IP addresses? What have the events in Dubai cost us? They knew the risks. How many assets did we lose? All of them. This sandstorm didn't help. Oh. The mission was a success. Clearly, your scale for success is a generous one. However, the erratic nature of the attack could work to our advantage. Interpol will be confused for weeks, and with our continued guidance, the people will come round eventually. We are all in this for the long game, after all. That's never changed. You think so? Do I need to remind you all how far we have veered off course? The Og incident has caused a schism in society. Things are worse than we projected, and growing more unstable every day. This will not be tolerated. To ensure the success of our vision, the disruptive elements must be excised. No one here disagrees with you. But let me fly to New York and I will personally evaluate the situation. We may already have the votes we need to ensure that the Human Restoration Act passes. Human Restoration? Well. Stanton, you accompany him. We may need to exert financial as well as political pressure to silence anyone opposed. Proceed. Oh. Elizabeth, I'll contact you later. Whoa. It won't succeed, Lucius, even with Dowd's money. Do you know what Rand will find in New York? Weak, ineffectual men. And with Nathaniel Brown still an unknown factor. Of course. That is why we're proceeding with our ultimate strategy. You have claimed much in the past, Huge. This is your chance to deliver. Everything is in place. We can initiate whenever you wish. How secure your communications, Bob? Jaina seems to have eyes everywhere these days. He and his juggernaut collective. Janus won't be an issue. I've made arrangements. I laid the foundations. Now it is time to get everyone's attention. H. Activate the sleep cell. Wow. Oh, were they all like remotely connecting to the conference room? That's why there were the IP addresses. Konečná stanice Růžičkovo nádraží. Příjezd za 5 minut. They sound like purists though. Seems like they're the guys behind the golden mask guys. Raha. Miller, it's Jensen. Just getting off the train now. Copy that. We'll debrief when you get in. You coming straight to the office? Unless there's a problem at a checkpoint. Your papers should be in order. Just keep your head down. Miller out. There's a very City 17 feel to this. Very tight security. Oh, so sorry. Very sorry. Damn it. Oh, cool. The damn plank. Why don't you watch where you're going? Whoa. Here, let me help you with that, ma'am. Ma'am? Seriously? I could have gone with Sweetie. Oh. You get my message about Dubai? Yeah. I'm glad you're all right, Adam. That ambush sounded pretty bad, man. Not something I was expecting, that's for sure. Any idea who hit us? Well, I'm sure your task force will come up with something. And that it won't be what the Juggernaut Collective digs up. Juggernaut Collective? Kind of odd, though, don't you think? Interpol sending your team, the Prague team, to Dubai in the first place? Miller said they were scrambling. 
Last minute intel. We were the only strike team available. Yeah, well, that's a lie. Mm. Better get moving. The Collective has been keeping tabs on all task force divisions ever since we slipped you into one of them. We've got a team in Oman. Could have been a hell of a lot faster than you guys. So why send us? I don't know. If the task force is an Illuminati front, like we all suspect, it doesn't make much sense to send it into an ambush. Unless they wanted our team to see something. Officially. The Golden Mask people... Monolith. Don't make a scene of it. Wouldn't dream of it, Alex. Everything good? I swear it's gotten even worse here in the past few days. Everyone looking over their shoulder. Terrified Ogs like us are going to attack them again? Somebody probably will. Treat people like animals long enough, they'll start acting like animals. You say that like there's nothing we could do to stop it. I already tried two years ago. It didn't work out so well. Hey, so what? What's your problem? Are you saying we should just give up? Let hatred and prejudice take over? To hell with that! I'm saying I can only go after enemies I see, Alex. The men who caused all this, the true power brokers, they're the ones I need to stop. I thought you knew that. I do. You, me, the Juggernaut Collective, we're all trying to stop them. It doesn't mean turning a blind eye to Then help me find them. Ooh. Okay. I'm authorized. This must be the checkpoint. Just watch yourself, Clank. Wow. Are you doing that? Oh, Rabia yeah. on the left side. I hate this city. Come on. If you're right about Dubai, about the Illuminati needing your team as witnesses, then we need to find out why. Who gave you the order to mobilize? Miller did. But it probably came from someone higher up the chain. Doesn't mean he's not in on it. Ever heard of the NSN? A neural subnet, sure. In TF-29, directors use it to plan ops and communicate privately in cyberspace. What's this? Whisper chip. Custom-made wiretap device. Janus designed it to fit inside the NSN's motherboard. Ah, the elusive Janus. Leader of the hacktivists. Am I ever gonna meet this guy? Someday, maybe. Right now, you need to concentrate on Miller and find a way to access the NSN's other. Whoa! Whoa! What? Was there a terrorist attack right in front of us? <coughs> Alex, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's get out of here. Child. We gotta check it out. Okay, be careful. We'll talk. It's probably a lot of hurt people. What was that? An explosion or a gunshot? Like a whole bunch of bad people came in. Oh, Adam, hurry up. And that's why Augs are useful. But then again, Augs probably caused this to begin with. Oh. So much for that.
30 hours after the train station bombing. <clears throat> Hold on. Augmentation Shit. malfunctions. Alex, it's Adam. Hey, you sound like shit. How you feeling? <laughs> A little sore, but uh, I'll be alright. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I've been through worse. Jesus, how fucked up is that to think, huh? Listen, Alex, my systems are acting up a little, so... I've got to get checked out. But if you want a maid or... What? No, 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 I'm fine, man. You just take care of you. This girl's built tough. Give me a call when you're useful again, okay? <laughs> All right, I will. Talk to you soon. <sighs> right off the bat, we're seeing problems with augmentation already. Augmentation is really a wonderful technology that can help you do a lot, but at the same time, it's causing a lot of problems too. And for Adam... Oh, too bad we can't, we can't see this very well. But Adam lost all his limbs, right? Because... Oh, we can't see our legs either. Our legs and arms, they were all metallic. Ooh. Hey, was Adam building a computer? Hydraulic micro pump. Where is his computer case? Oh, yeah. you know, before that little musical wow, he's building watches too. Watches are really shit. intricate to build. Someone in my family used to work with watches a lot. This is my temporary room. Not really like my apartment in Detroit. It seems a little bit small, but we'll work with it. Yeah, look at my augs. Kind of going haywire a little bit. A book about learning to let it go. Oh my god. We looked at that. Can't look at the briefcase. Can we look... Ah, ah, mine? JC, welcome package. Hang on. A non 74 hacker net. If you're reading this, Bratan, it means you got our little welcome package. Good. Now you know what mark to leave if you need to get in touch. Memorize those sites, but use them sparingly. We got other people using them too. In a few days, the pilot will contact you. You met her once before. Spanish girl with a large sidearm in Detroit. She's solid, trustworthy, and very capable. We're getting her false papers and a job at Lebedev Global. Figured you might need someone permanent watching your back. Pilot? Pilot? Hmm. I'm glad you're doing this, Bratan. I know you still don't trust us, but we know the TF is tied to our common enemy's activities. Find out how and we'll bring them down together, just like we did with Bell Tower. Q. Q. Hmm. JC welcome package. Juggernaut Collective! Juggernaut Collective. A map of some type of Praha. What is the Juggernaut Collective? How to not get yourself killed. How not to get yourself killed. Jensen, since there's no point in trying to convince you not to do what you're planning to do, I figured I could at least stop you from getting killed too quickly. That is, after all, why you constantly come to me for help, isn't it? This device contains data I've collected. Links which may or may not support your theory that extremely wealthy individuals have manipulated, manipulated events and caused everything bad that's happened to us. Maybe sifting through it will let you find them. Pritchard! Hey, Pritchard from Human Revolution. Congress under pressure to reconvene human augmentation hearings. The hearings were suspended after a terrorist attack at Seraph Industries claimed the lives of leading researchers. That's the incident that started Human Revolution. Pro-human activists raid Seraph factory, take hostages, this marks the second time in six months 
that an attack has been directed against the biotechnology firm. Taiyong Medical continues global expansion. The Shanghai-based augmentation developer increased its market share by 7.3% this week by purchasing yet another human enhancement firm. Anti-augmentation riots erupt worldwide. The violence began after Pikus News released grainy satellite footage of scientists performing torturous experiments on augmented super-soldiers. WHO issues worldwide recall of biochips. The recall comes amid reports ranging from minor disturbances to potentially lethal defects. Mechanically enhanced people are urged to visit their local limb clinics immediately. Oh, I remember that. Wasn't that the thing in Human Revolution where I had to go update my chip? And then it turned out to be something bad for me? <laughs> Key players to Tur Panchea. Hold augmentation debate. Hoping to end the growing controversy, billionaire Hugh Darrow has invited high-ranking government officials and key players in the human enhancement field to the Arctic. Chaos reigns globally as augmented go insane. All at once, augmented individuals around the world went crazy, attacking and killing everything in sight, just as Darrow's broadcasted welcome speech began. Recovery hopes dim as global death toll mounts. Densely populated, augmentation-friendly cities have suffered the most although the damage has not been confined completely to them. World's number one augmentated private military corporation declares bankruptcy. Already reeling from losses incurred during the AUG incident, Bell Tower's associate's fate was sealed when hackers linked to the Juggernaut Collective leaked details of a black site facility. Is the Juggernaut thing from Human Revolution? It's been a while already, so my memory of what the complete story in Human Revolution is like is not that good. Biotech industry collapses. Hard hit by both the Taggart Act and a variety of new local and international laws, Serif Industries joined many of its competitors by closing its doors today. UN report predicts rise in terrorism. Calls for Interpol task force to counter it. To cope with rising violence and racism against AUGs, governments all over the world are enacting harsh laws. But these laws will, in fact, only encourage more acts of terrorism. Yeah, I remember. Oh, one more? No, that's the same one. Okay. The three main stances of what people think about augmentations seem to be, by the end of human revolution anyway. Number one. People want to continue researching augmentations and continue implementing it in society. Number two, augmentations are bad. Humans should be pure. We're playing God. Number three, very, very tightly regulate augmentations and see how it goes from there. Those seem to be the three main things, main stances, points of views that you can support personally. And I'm not sure, like, mankind's divided. Because it's a sequel from Human Revolution, right? I'm not sure if what we picked at the end of Human Revolution actually has an impact, because it seems like, so far, no. The society ends up in disarray, regardless. Ooh, crafting parts. Sellable. System processor chip. Inventory full. Are you kidding me? Oh, I have too much crap around me. When did I get this crap? Battle rifle. When did I pick that up? Beer? Used to recover a small amount of health at the cost of impaired vision. Uh, well, it raises health, so I don't want to throw it away, but I need to throw something away. Do I have, like, a safety box? What is this? I, I don't have room for anything here. I should probably reorganize my inventory a little bit, though. Alright, I moved around my stuff a little bit, and I dropped that rifle. Whatever, man. I don't even know. Hopefully, we won't be needing it. Ugh, look at this. Error, error, error. Ah, crafting parts. Multi-tool. Hmm. We... Oh, we can craft typhoon ammo. If we're planning on going non-lethal, though, we shouldn't be using typhoon ammo all too much. Pack of 10mm liquid crystal elastomer. Projectiles. Projectiles. Mold it into a frangible diffusion matrix and spin stabilize for maximum range when deployed by the Typhoon Explosive System augmentation. By lethal, the projectiles are lethal. Modification of the augmentation's firing system can alter the ammunition's liquid compound 
to deploy non-lethal gas rounds. Oh, hey, that might be useful. We'll need to be on the lookout for how to do that then. We can also craft bio cells and mine templates. Mine templates. So we can make a frag mine, EMP, concussion, smoke, or gas mine. Okay, what's a multi-tool then? Multi-use anti-security hacking device. When fired at any secured device, it emits a directed burst of microwave energy that neutralizes most conventional locking systems. Oh, interesting. Is that for when we can't hack something then? Hmm. Regroup. Mission briefing. Prague has become a hotbed of terrorist activity. It's why TF-29 set up shop here. Arriving home from Dubai, I was meeting someone in secret when we both got caught in the latest attack. My system took a hit, but it seems trivial. I'll know more after a shower. Okay. Yeah, are we- are we hurt? I'm not too sure. Those are not- Only this floor is my apartment. Only this little area, right? Not even this part? Dang. Ooh, JC welcome package. Oh, that was that. And then we got the whisper chip. Hmm. Advanced listening device. Cool. Oops. What was that? Spies and double agents. Oh, that's really cool. They have like a... What happened last time on Deus Ex Mankind Divided thing going on here. Neat. Okay. Are you missing anything? Oh, what the heck? This is totally City 17. It's freaking me out. I can't take out my guns, so I can't mark those people. Ooh. There's a lot of things going on here. Credit chip. Yeah, free money. Actually, it's my own money, so... Alright. Shower? Wow, this place is pretty... This place is pretty crummy in comparison to our old apartment. <laughs> yeah! I post him. Time to do my laundry? Okay. Yeah, look at Adam's arms. It's all augmentation. Augmentations literally saved his life. Oh, hang on. His augmentations are waterproof? Feeling better? Newspaper. Police blunders lead to mistrial. Six high-ranking- oh no. Six high-ranking members of the Diwali crime family walked out of the courtroom as free men today after it became apparent that state police had once again accidentally destroyed evidence in the Melikov sex trafficking case. Accidentally destroyed. The judge had no choice but to declare a mistrial once officer- Rahoi Kaba testified that a handwritten ledger used to track the buying and selling of prostitutes had inadvertently been shredded. He added that the officer responsible for the mistake has been placed on paid administrative leave while the matter is being investigated. Paid leave! This marks the third case this year in which members of the Diwali organization have escaped justice due to bureaucratic error. In an assurance hollow enough to echo throughout the capital, the mayor declared, the state is launching an independent investigation into the chain of custody procedures. If corruption exists in Prague, we will stamp it out. Hmm. Rogue arms dealer killed in Dubai. Uh-oh. Interpol reports that John Trent, a dangerous ex-Bell Tower operative, is dead. Trent's body was discovered, recovered, during a sting operation in Dubai, along with a shipment of weapons. He planned to sell the contraband to augmented terrorists using the pseudoism, Shepard. 
Oh, that's who he was. You know, I was thinking about this metalweight championship again. And I'm thinking, since it's for people who have augmentations, doesn't that pretty much mean that whoever has the most money, whoever can have the best augmentations will win? Because the point, the point of having wrestling, boxing, it's to find out who is physically the most, I don't know, well-trained and gifted, right? But now, with augmentations, it seems like it's more about who has the best augmentations, really. Open blinds. Good morning, Adam. You have one new message. From? David Sarif. Oh! Uh, play it. Adam, it's David. I know it's been a while, but uh, after what happened in Prague yesterday... Look, look, look son. Whatever reasons you've had for not getting in touch these last two years, well, life's too short. I'm leaving for London soon, but uh, give me a call. You saved his vid call number? Yes, Adam. Just activate your TV system. Hmm. Hey, my apartment's not half bad. It's okay. TV system? Let me look around. Ooh. Peter Chang, you okay? Director Miller said you'd probably come in after a good night's sleep. Oh, yeah, that's right. But we got bombed. Despite what just happened to you. I have no idea why you would do that. If it was me, TF29 is the last place I would want to go to right now. Don't let the bunker atmosphere fool you. This place is a target. We are all targets. I'm not just being a paranoid here, okay? You'll understand when we talk in person. P.S. Related to the above thing that we need to talk about, I changed your office password. It's now the name of the band on the shirt Aria wore that time I saw her. The one I told you about. I swear I'm not trying to be cute or cryptic. I'm trying to be safe. Okay, Aria, band, shirt. Chang? P.S.S. Try running through your home smart system interface again and let me know if you're still getting that armory glitch. Latest firmware should have taken care of it. Last thing I want to do in your shoes is leave my apartment without bullets. Thanks, man. Specs. Ah, buying a new trench coat. You should see! You can actually buy Adam's trench coat on Square Enix. That thing costs, I think, if I remember correctly, 170 bucks US dollars. Quite a sum of money. <laughs> Ooh, Christian Giroux. Who is this? Hey, Jensen. Sorry to not get back to you before this. Been buried in a sea of paperwork. And frankly, I'm surprised you're asking. Only met Miller once, via the NSN. Seemed more than competent. He was with the Tactical Assault Group in Australia before the incident. Hell of a marksman, so they say. Don't know how he ended up overseeing the Central European office, but then I don't understand how you ended up there either. After Detroit, I figured your SWAT experience and my recommendation would get you in the door, but I thought headquarters would keep you in the States. Sure could use your insider's knowledge of VOG developers to get a handle of the black market suppliers we've been chasing down. Hate to say it, but they're giving us hell. Oh well, adapt and react, right? Anyway, not much more I can tell you about Miller. If you do put him for a transfer, let me know. Maybe I can pull strings. Christian Durow. So someone who is part of the Interpol, but in the States. Where I came from. I'm from Detroit. Smart home. Ooh, hello homeowner. From the menu, please select the type of setting. I'll oh. keep you safe. Ooh. Shutting doors. Open close wall panel. As you wish. But remember, homeowner, this poses a substantial security risk. Okay. No 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 no. I'll keep you safe. Shut the doors, open the panel. As you wish. There we go. What does it say? Carden? Carden storage. Sweet. Oh, you know what? If I have too much stuff, can I put them back in the box? <laughs> I hope we can unlock this because we're starting to run dangerously low on room. Hmm. Okay, get me out of here. Stun oh, yeah, I want that. I don't have a stun gun. I want a stun gun. So I don't have one. Ebook. 
There's a lot of things to read around here. Task Force 29, the secret fight against global terrorism. On the 21st March 2028, a chain of coordinated bomb attacks exploded in unsuspecting cities and communities around the world. In that terrifying six-hour period, up to 50 low-tech but horribly effective devices destroyed lives and terrorized humanity one after the other. Too much too late, it was the tragic reason the world finally heated. Highlighted by a press already gorging on stories of bloody terrorism, the lack of communication and cooperation between international intel gathering organizations were cited as the primary reasons for the March bombings going on, going unprevented. Normally bound and gagged with political red tape, world leaders reached across political fences as international demand for a unified and collaborative solution aligned across the globe. In the weeks following, UN mediators urgently proposed an international cooperative force with power, with the power to act effectively across borders. Built upon the base of the existing G18, the effort quickly expanded with 11 more willing political participants, and Task Force 29 was born. That's what we're in. Hmm, that's good. Good to know that world leaders are getting their shit together. Seems like Adam is still a big smoker. <laughs> Oh, more beer. I'm really not gonna have room soon. Oh, even more beer. Wine. Oh, crafting. I'll take that one. Okay, we don't need to turn the stove on. Ooh, the fridge is too heavy for me. Consumable. Oh my gosh, I have so much liquor around here. So much alcohol. I'll leave some of it. Maybe we'll come back here later because my inventory. My inventory is so full. So full. Okay. Call Sarah for watch TV. Eliza. Ark had nothing to do with them. We are a non-violent organization. Yes, yes, you said that. That was six months ago. Earlier today, the Rosika train station fell victim to a bombing. The third day. Yeah, Eliza Kassan. Is this really the face of a pacifist? Join the discussion online and let us know what you think. This is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live. From PICUS, PICUS News, the global leader in fair, unbiased, and impartial reporting. <laughs> and now for a close look at the events making headlines around the world. Here are our top stories. All right, I'm done. How do I get out? Look at events making headlines around the world. The impact of the AUG incident is still being felt two years after the fact. Seems like I have to keep watching. The, fear, the hatred, the violence. In the northwestern United States, a group of non-augmented citizens armed with assault It's funny because we know that they're not fair and impartial. They claim the U.S. government is not doing enough to protect group. augmented crazies. They tailor their information so that they can control the masses. ...demanding freedom and basic human rights for all, regardless of augmented status, have been imprisoned by the Chinese government. Oh, okay, I can get out. <sighs> Let's call Sarah then. Adam, thanks for calling me back, son. <laughs> Sarah. I heard about the bombing in Prague. It's all over the news. Did anyone you know get hurt? You know me. I tend to keep to myself. I'm surprised you even know I'm here. Interpol called me when you applied for the job, part of their extensive background checks. I gave you a glowing recommendation. Thanks. What do you want? <laughs> what do I want? Jeez, Adam. I know I did some questionable things in the past, but a lot's happened in the last two years. To both of us. That's true. 
For what it's worth, I'm glad you made it out of Panchea. Thank you. It wasn't easy, as I'm sure you know. I was at death's door by the time the rescue crews pulled me out of the wreckage, and while the doctors were stitching me back together, my company fell apart. There wasn't anything I could do to stop it, not from a hospital bed. I heard Tai Young Medical bought everything up. They're the only biotech corporation that could, after the incident. Our patents, our tech, everything. Oh, so Seraph Industries is no more. Oh well, sometimes one dream has to die so another can rise from its ashes. That's pretty awful. Ooh. Two people that we want to know about. Well, we heard from Pritchard already. You heard anything from Megan? <sighs> After all we went through, I thought she'd stand by me. Still, you know, she always wanted to be at the cutting edge. She didn't see a future for herself in Detroit, so she went to Versa Life. Ah. She moved to Hong Kong? San Francisco. They've got an offshore research facility there named Rokaseka Beach. I'm sure you've seen it in the news. California, huh? I wonder if she's told her mother. What my advice, son? Write her out of your life. Because I'm damn sure she's written us out of hers. Well... You talked to Pritchard lately? Frank! <laughs> out of all of us, I think he's the one who's changed the least. He'd probably tell you there wasn't anything about him that needed changing. <laughs> I'm sure he would. But when the world transforms itself the way ours has, people need to adapt or get left behind. Frank's freelance now, but he's still in computer security, still in Detroit. I don't know if he'll ever leave. Your message said you were going to London. Casual trip? Or is this tied to the new dream? I'm, uh, meeting with the Santo group, Nathaniel Brown and his investors. Mmm! Santo? They built the Udalek complex, the Og Ghetto, here in Prague. Why are you meeting with them? Brown's got big plans. He wants to focus on real solutions, ideas that look to the future. Y you've heard of the Safe Harbor Initiative? I've heard of Rabia. Rabia? The walled city he and his company are building in the desert for Ogs. Rabia's just a part of it. We're talking about self-sustaining, energy-efficient arcologies that can be replicated anywhere on Earth. Cities built by the Augmented for the Augmented. Where the dream of self-controlled human evolution lives on. It may not seem like it right now, son, but one day, people will move on from the incident. And when that happens, we'll be ready for it. I'm glad we caught up, Adam. I've always tried to look out for you, you know. That bombing yesterday. You didn't call to talk about the bombing. <laughs> just ask. It's nothing, really. I, I just need a signature so I can finish filing the bankruptcy paperwork. Shh. You need my signature? Yeah, apparently there was some kind of bureaucratic mix-up caused by you being declared legally dead for a year. The apartment in Detroit was leased in your name, even though we paid for it. Fine. Send me the paperwork. Thanks, Adam. I appreciate it, really. Goodbye, Seraph. Well, Seraph is very obviously pro-augmentation. Kind of sad to hear that his company is no more. That's... that's rough. Business failure is ranked as one of the top reasons people get depressed. Okay, I remember there was other stuff that we didn't look at yet. Oh, well, that's the radio. Newspaper, we saw that. We looked at that already. Are we almost done here? What's this? What is that? Ah! Multi tool! Yes, thank you. I need that. Multi-tools can hack devices of any security rating. Aim at a hackable device and hold LMB until completion. One use only. So, if I come across any devices that are like level 5? Or something really, really hard. Then maybe that's something that I want to use. What was that? I don't know what that was, but... Die Taiga beer. We have a lot of alcohol around here. Let me just turn off that wall panel. I feel a little bit insecure with it. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> with it being open. But I think that might be it then. Yeah, I mean, it's. It kind of looks like an art studio. 
That's what it looks like. Not really a standard apartment. Alright, hopefully we'll get to come back here a little bit more.